All right, we're back with another episode of Waste Storage Reviews. In this one, we're going to be reviewing Gremlins 1984. Solid film, solid Christmas film, so it's fitting for this time Christmas. of year. Christmas, tell them why we're doing it. What do you mean? Because it's fucking Christmas. Well, that's what I just fucking said. Holy shit, already getting into it. Christmas. Uh, all right. I, I picked Gremlins as my favorite Christmas movie. Luke picked his. We're going to do We'll get to that after. All right. But before we talk about it anymore, let's recap as quick as possible the movie Gremlins for refresher for anyone who hasn't seen it in a while or for anyone that hasn't seen it. I mean, if you haven't seen it, then go fucking well, watch it right now. But do. Yeah. I mean, so let's, let's just do this. So Gremlins opens up in what they say is Chinatown, which I don't which believe looks, looks, looks just it looks like, like China. China. It's yeah. Like, no, that, that, that's that what I was fucking, thinking yeah, too. That, that dad is fucking lying. He's in China. <laughs> yeah, fucking he, he actually went to China. <laughs> he's, he's in there and he's there because he wants to find a gift for his son. So he follows this little ragtag kid down into this, into this shop. Uh, but he quickly abandons his son's gift to peddle his own shitty fucking inventions, which is the shower buddy or whatever it's called, <laughs> the bathroom buddy. <laughs> yeah. And after haggling with the shop owner for a little while, he discovers the the mogwai. And, and even though the shop owner doesn't want to sell it to him because it's dangerous and it's too much responsibility, he goes and preys on the little kid, flashing some fucking money. That's probably their <laughs> mortgage because he's a deadbeat dad. And and he gets he gets the mogwai, and then it, it cuts to um, uh, Billy, who's a sweet kid. He's putting bacon on he's the a table. Pussy. Oh fuck, he's cool, man. He's bringing <laughs> he's bringing his dog to work at the bank. The dog attacks Mrs. Dingleberry, which is sweet. He's also cool because he's trying to nail Kate, who's played by uh, Phoebe, Cates. Phoebe Cates. So that's fucking pretty cool as well. And and you know what? It starts off for like the first forty minutes as like kind of a wholesome. Really nice family movie. The dad comes home. Everyone loves him. He gives the mogwai uh, gizmo to his son. And then it all gets turned upside down when that shithead fucking Corey Feldman comes in <laughs> and spills water on the mogwai. And it just turns into uh, Stripe and, and, his, and his cronies. And right from there, they're just causing yeah. shit. They trick Billy in defeating them after midnight so they can turn into gremlins. Uh, once they do turn into gremlins, the mom's got to fight them off and just, and and fucking kill just them. Just a bunch of murder pranks after yeah. that. and then they even vicious pranks on society. And then after, even after they kill most of the the gremlins, uh, Stripe gets away. He jumps in a pool just to get way more fucking gremlins out there yeah. and then they should change the 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 movie at that point the title of the movie it's just gremlins night out man they're just having a time they're killing yeah, people that's they're when they're drinking it gets great. booze that's like. they're racking up a huge bar tab at the fucking <laughs> bar and then they wrap it up at the movie theater i mean that's just a solid saturday night um and then in the movie theater uh there's an unfortunate gas incident and they all blow up kills all the time. gremlins again Except Stripe. Except Stripe. Stripe gets he's, away. He's, he's munching on candy bars across the street, man. Yeah. There wasn't enough munchies at the fucking then, movie theater. And then he decides he needs to kill Billy. Yeah, and then they have a big fight scene, and then Gizmo comes in to save the day. He rips down a piece of the roof to shine the light on and melt uh, 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 Stripe into a big old pile of goo and skeleton. Not the ending I want. But well, it. fuck it. And then, the, uh, <laughs> and then afterwards, they realize it's too much responsibility, so they call the Chinaman back. From China, they ship them all the way over here in another box. Oh, fuck, I don't know about that. <laughs> but they get him over here. <laughs> and he, gra he grabs Gizmo. He's from Chinatown, man. He just took the bus over. Oh, okay. That's, I got box Fucking and bus bullshit, mis mixed bro. up there. Um, and then he takes Gizmo back to make sure he doesn't let loose any of these creatures on society. Uh, and then the dad wraps it up with his little fucking monologue. And he's still a deadbeat dad uh, because he's fucking his son pays all the bills and he's making these shitty yeah. fucking inventions the whole goddamn movie. Uh, so that is the quick recap of Gremlins just so that That's you great. know. You don't even need to watch it now, you know. Yeah, now you know everything. So, all right, let's get into the actual fucking review now. Uh, it, it, you know, this is the first time that I actually, in a, in a while, that I actually sat down by myself to to watch this movie. And... Man, like it's fun. like I appreciated it more. Like it's just so fucking good. It, it's aged so well because they used like live animatronics, and that's what I love about '80s movies. They use live yeah. props, big sets, like live anima like like real animatronics, and uh, it just doesn't date like those fucking shitty CGI movies. Yeah, that... exactly. Yeah, the Gremlins still look cool. They, yeah, so it's it still yeah, it's it looks looks fucking great still. And 
I, I also appreciate it because like it's it's like it's for two separate audiences. I think as as like a kid when you start to watch it, it has enough for you to enjoy it. But when you get older, you kind of see the darker side of things yeah. and the humor of it and kind of how it's fighting between those those two different things. And I, I don't know, man. It's like Joe Dante, who, who who's the uh, director of this movie. He's one of my favorite directors from the 80s. Uh, he did movies like uh, uh, The Burbs, which is like one of my all-time favorite movies ever. He did The Burbs. Uh, he did um, Inner Space and Explorers, which have huge cult followings in the 80s. Are kind of like I think they're kind of before the Goonies time and sort of that childhood like adventure type of stuff around when ET and stuff is coming out. Yeah. Uh, the director also did Small Soldiers, Gorgonites, oh, man, cool. Tommy Lee yeah. Jones, Kirsten Dunst. And, I like Small Soldiers. <laughs> and there's a link between those two movies too. The dad in, in Gremlins is a deadbeat and a piece of shit, and so is the the kid's dad in small soldiers as well he's got a toy shop that with no one goes to because he's got the shittiest toys in the world he's always ragging on his kid well the dad in gremlins is really supportive the dad in fucking small soldiers is a yeah. piece of shit so he's calling him a punk and he says he's a, he says he's an asshole and i would if i was that kid i would have swung him right i would have fucking swung him but uh oh man i could rant all day about that fucking dad the kid actually is just trying the dad's on vacation or not on vacation at a toy conference and that kid's just trying to bring in some cool toys to make them some money so they're house- you talking about you can't rant about small soldiers right now we're gonna focus on gremlins all right all right fuck that fuck fuck that dad uh, my dad's cooler than that dad uh, <laughs> all right so uh uh back to gremlins uh yeah saw film and it's also like it, it's one of like the rare i feel it's rare in films so that the sequels are equally as good if not a little bit better and gremlins too i i, I love like yeah, the, the gremlin cool. kills and gremlins 2 are absolutely the story might not be as solid but the, the kills are just crazy in gremlins 2 which yeah, we'll probably well, they put a lot more well. focus on like the gremlin characters yeah in that so what we want to do first here is we want to dive a little bit into uh some kind of behind the scenes of what happened on gremlins some things that maybe you didn't know these are all true facts Hopefully, maybe I make some of them up. You won't know. Just, just enjoy them. Uh, the first one is uh, Phoebe Cates is really hot. That's that's, <laughs> that's the first fact. She is an absolute bombshell. Holy shit! It's not uh, like super hot in Gremlins though. Like Fast Times, she's okay. she's very hot. But she's still she's in Gremlins. She's like all she's got the. And did you, she almost lost the, the role? Like the eighties mom outfits on. She almost lost the role in Gremlins because, because of, of the fast, boobs. Yeah, because yeah. of the boobs. In fact, they're thinking because it's more of a family film that they're going to get criticized for that. Uh, so that's the, that's the first thing. Phoebe Cates is hot. She almost lost the role because she's so hot. Uh, so thank you to her. Uh, yeah, you you really helped my. Weird though, right? It's a family yeah. film, but little <laughs> monsters are killing people around town. They're yeah. Not... And then, so the second thing is the film almost looked a lot different. We talked about this earlier. Uh, first, Tim Burton almost directed the the movie. Uh, the only reason why he didn't uh, was because he hadn't had anything no under his belt yet. Yeah. And so they went, decided to go with John uh, Joe Dante, which, in in my opinion, is a better choice, anyways, because he 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 killed it with that and a lot of movies in the eighties. Yeah. Uh, also, Judd Nelson and or Emilio Estevez, I don't Estevez Estevez. Uh, we're however supposed you want to say it, however man. you want to say it. We're supposed to get the lead <laughs> role of Billy, uh, but uh, uh, Galligan ended up to get in the role because uh, he had better chemistry with um, uh, uh, whatever. Phoebe it would have been a totally fucking different movie with like Emilio Estevez. But like they're kind of like, like badass guys. They were badass guys, and this so guy, he would have been like, like Let's an go. innocent. Yeah. We gotta kill these fucking gotta kill these guys. <laughs> and Billy's a pussy. But maybe if it was the, the original, movie. maybe if it was the original script, because the original script was supposed to be a lot darker, those yeah, characters would have been, been better. better for it. Yeah, because the original, it's better having little bitchy Billy in there. Like, yeah, because like if you watch the movie now, it's kind of it, it's it, it kind of just tries to bleed that line between being a little bit more mature and, and dark and have those kind of kills in it and everything else, and still being that family type of film. But it was. The original script that actually the Joe, uh, the the writer I, I forget who the writer is Chris Chris Columbus uh, he, he didn't even think it was going to get and that's I think that's what his a name, name. <laughs> I think that's his name he didn't even think it was going to get made uh, because because of what he wrote about in and things like the uh, the mom when she's going up to first discover the gremlins after they hatch out uh, they're they're supposed to decapitate her and roll her roll her head down the well, they, the, the 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 stairs for Billy to see yeah well there's supposed to eat billy's dog 
and then decapitate the mother and kick the head like down the stairs. Yeah, it's supposed to be, very, it's supposed to be a lot darker than 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 what the and movie apparently actually... go to McDonald's and eat all the people <laughs> in the McDonald's instead of burgers. Yeah, which which would be which would have been awesome. That would have been great. They should have yeah. kept that in. That's funny. And then the animatronics in the movie as well. Uh, so that was another that was another kind of thing that changed a lot in the background. So first, there was a lot of animatronics in it. it apparently, cost over forty thousand dollars per gremlin, which yeah. in the bar scene alone would have been fucking hundreds of thousands yeah. of dollars. Uh, it would have been absolutely. It would have been crazy. Well, apparently, after after their shoots, security was checking trunks of the actors' cars, make sure they weren't taking. To make anything. sure they weren't taking uh, a gremlin. Apparently, it was like forty grand for one. Apparently, Corey gremlin. Feldman took a a piece of Mogwai fur to, to school to show it to everyone, but they just bullied him anyways because he was a loser. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, but also, it wasn't supposed to be uh, animatronics. It was supposed to be monkeys originally, but yeah. they couldn't use the monkeys because they'd freak out every time they try to put fit them with the gremlin's fucking uh, face and and suit and stuff like that. Which I don't know how they would have been able to get monkeys to go. That that seems like animal cruelty. I know, a man. There. Like, <laughs> full of monkeys in gremlin costumes ripping yeah, off just... kids Corey's, Corey Feldman's face would have got ripped off <laughs> you can't fucking use monkeys for things like, it just sounds no. like a bad idea <laughs> um, uh, and also uh, another really weird thing Gizmo was originally supposed to be Stripe uh, and they decided that that would like as the the kind of I guess the script rolled out they they realized that Gizmo could have been this really big hero actually Billy was supposed to defeat Stripe at the end of the movie as well yeah. but Gizmo ended up coming in and doing it because they wanted as much focus on Gizmo because they knew it would have yeah, tied the lovable that, character the lovable for the kids, kids, yeah because right? Billy wasn't Spielberg, as lovable um, and then uh, the, the also the that weird I, I even when I was watching it that monologue that Kate does uh telling about how her dad died being santa claus coming down the chimney like why yeah. is this even in there but it's just like a running <laughs> yeah. joke in the movie joe dante the director fought for it to be there because all throughout the movie she's saying i don't like you know christmas and stop talking to me about it and it was just kind of like a sick joke that they wanted to add in there uh but those are like some of the crazy some of the crazier things that happened behind the scenes a couple other quick ones uh gremlins is one of the movies that actually influenced the pg-13 rating Howie Mandel did the voice of Gizmo. Uh, it's the same set as Back to the Future. And the writer is doing Gremlins 3, and he promises it's going to be dark. And I think it's coming out like next summer or something like that, which, awesome. is, uh, which is pretty crazy. But what we're going to do is we want to take a quick pause because uh, we're going to load up, uh, I think, our favorite Gremlin kill, right? Yeah, we'll do the kill and then some shit afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a quick pause. All right, so we're back. We're going to be playing our favorite gremlin kill of the movie, uh, which is the gremlin goes in the microwave, man. Love it. Great. And like when I was a kid and this was on TV, a lot of channels, they always cut this out. That's bullshit. Yeah. Man, like, did they, did they, so they actually had to, like, explode, like, one of their $40,000, like, and all. They, no, they, I think they said they used balloons and, like, probably filled balloons i know they i know they used much. balloons to pop them out of the mogwai's back when it was like yeah they wet, it when it too. got dripped from water but that is like that that whole scene is is great like there's just like in like within like a five minutes not even a five minutes like a two minute span there's like four great gremlin kills decapitated yeah. and kicked yeah, in the, the fire the whole stabbed, kitchen scene is sick yeah and then, blended uh yeah, the head in the fire even though the microwave scene is is great it still doesn't hold the candle to gremlins 2 where they put him through the shredder oh you know, yeah. the paper shredder scene oh man that one's so good but yeah this whole kitchen scene on tv they always cut it out and it's what weird because it's not like real people it's not like real they cut out the it's whole just... scene on tv yeah it kind of just like they cut out the kills you need to see the scene to know what happens to those fucking gremlins and then well, yeah it's like one of the best fucking scenes that's crazy but yeah Why they do you play it on out. tv it's weird bastards uh so that's the that's our favorite Grandma kill the movie, and then let's just uh, uh, try to. I guess we'll take another quick break because we want to load up our favorite scene of the movie, which is the the bar scene. So uh, we got lo we got to load it up. So we probably should just quit, take a quick pause. We're okay. fucking back. Oh shit! We got the bar scene. These guys must have. Okay, uh, well, let's play it. Let's play it, and then we'll play it. All right. So I have a couple couple things so first <laughs> i want to know the tab that these fuckers racked up because they're oh, partying pretty hard they destroyed the whole bar yeah. they probably drank everything that was but there. see that's the second thing when they they're not even if they drink 
Liquid, they're supposed to multiply, and they're drinking booze and stuff here, but they're not multiplying. Plot hole. It's a bit of a plot hole, but apparently <laughs> in the original script, they pour juice on it, and it does nothing, so it's just supposed to be water. But they don't oh. tell you that in this movie. That makes sense. Yeah. But the other just slamming beers. The other man. plot hole is oh, how I'm did they over there. how did they all light their fucking cigarettes? Well, not even that. But there's like bar <laughs> signs. They're like playing like an arcade game in this and stuff yeah. too. Like, why isn't that shocking it's, them? It's dingy enough. I, okay. I guess it like, has to be like a super super bright light. Anyway, I love this this dude with three cigarettes in his but mouth. Like, why and is she even ser why isn't she serving them? Why is she just <laughs> run the fuck out of there? Like, just <laughs> like why did they say yeah, the flasher? fucking flasher? <laughs> dude, I would yeah. flash Phoebe Gates. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's uh that's a crime. But like, oh They're man, I want to do that at a I want to do that at a bar, man. Just get on the table and just fucking smash the croquet table, uh, croquet <laughs> ball against all the fucking beer bottles. These are the tough grunt, the head the head gremlin here. Stripe, yeah, stripe. Those tough guys playing poker. So like, we had to we had to sell this debate. Is stripe the best gremlin? Or I yeah, guess who would be the best? Well, Gizmo, 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 I don't care. I like stripe better anyway. You should kill Gizmo, dude. Honestly, no, you can't say that and, and see Gizmo's sad face and oh, not yeah. absolutely fucking cr crush your soul. <laughs> when he hurt, when he, when Gizmo falls down, he gets hurt at the start of this movie and he's like crying and stuff like that. I'm fucking crying. I don't know. Man. I'm all about the bad guys in this movie. I wish <laughs> I wish Stripe would kill Billy, man. That's the only thing I want different. I wish the ending was just Stripe shoot Billy right in the fucking head. This guy's badass though. Just loves fucking soul music. Jazz. <laughs> the, the hand puppets. Let's see, he bops him right. But like the crazy, like, like this movie's not like super long. It's like an hour, like forty minutes or something like that. Yeah. But like this scene's like really fucking long. It's pretty long, yeah. Well, this is like their chance to show off all these fucking characters yeah, that they spending, made. Like spending millions yeah. of dollars on. Oh, this, yeah, the flash dance. I love like the like yeah. the the break dance move it does at the end. <laughs> well, this is what makes like the gremlins lovable too so oh man you could go on either side of the movie right? you forget that they just killed like half the town <laughs> <laughs> I, so like apparently though like the the um like all like the uh, like the grips and stuff on like on the set they hated the gremlins and everything else because yeah. they're such a pain in the ass to maintain because they're <laughs> so small and intricate that they'd always break down, and like they said, the the, the scene where Gizmo's spinning on the dartboard, they they like they they had enough at that, like they because like it was just he would just constantly break. Yeah, they break. hung one up and they were throwing darts. Yeah, at, right? they they can't, it was just constantly breaking. Yeah, see now he's scared of the bright light. But, yeah, I mean they lit there's a like a bunch of cigarettes. Before yeah, this. and it was like yeah, there's like cigarettes it's like lit there, and like the bar lights are just going crazy right now. I yeah. guess maybe because like they're red and stuff like that, they like just like the white light. Like I guess maybe. I don't know. But I mean, one of them had cigarettes. They were all smoking. How'd they like the rest of the cigarettes? I want to know what happened to all these animatronics after this movie. Like, obviously, I can't afford $40,000. Oh, they probably have them. Steven oh, Spielberg probably man. has them in a fucking room. I just want to set up my bar with all these guys just going all the time, just drinking beers. Oh, and just, shit. Get mon <laughs> just get monkeys. See, you put, <laughs> just get monkeys. The gremlin suits <laughs> on them. Oh, man. And like people like think that this is maybe just like a Christmas theme movie, but no, it's like an actual legit Christmas movie. It's, it's Christmas has, has, right now. It's Christmas. They have Christmas music in I the background. I love this guy with the ski mask and the gun. <laughs> yeah. And originally, this movie was actually supposed to uh, be released during during Christmas time, yeah. but it ended up not making that release. And they had to release it in the summertime. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was supposed to be like an actual Christmas movie. All right, that's the bar scene. All right. And they're running out. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So now that we do Billy's the bar piece scene, of shit car won't start. Yeah, that that's that. <laughs> um, after the bar scene, what we're we getting into? I guess we're we're getting right into the the eighties the, the, the eighties waste toy drinking game for Gremlins, and then our and then our review of the the movie. So for this one again, we're not trying to get you blackout drunk. We're trying to get you in that pocket so you can enjoy the film the way it's supposed to be. And for the Gremlins drinking game, we got a few good ones here. So first, whenever a Gremlin gets killed, you drink, which. In that one scene, you're going to be having a few drinks, yeah, which is really good. Uh, then whenever someone breaks a Mogwai rule, here's where you're going to get some drinks, right? So every single time someone breaks one of those Mogwai rules, you got to take a drink. So whenever they get wet, uh, whenever they get hit with bright light, 
and uh, whenever they eat after midnight. And this actually shouldn't just extend to Mogwise, also Gremlins as well, uh, so you can yeah. do both. And then uh, Taylor's favorite, whenever Billy gets hurt, you take a drink. So Taylor yeah. thinks he's a pussy, he hates him. <laughs> Uh, so drink for Taylor for that one. Uh, but that's the 80s drinking game uh, for Gremlins. So have fun with that. Uh, drink responsibly, not like us. We probably should add that in there. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, so now let's get to the, uh, the the review. So we review all of our mu- movies on the six-pack rating scale. You want to go first? Or I'm going to go first. Give it, man. All right. So out of six, oh, man, Gremlins is good. I like, I'm going to have to give it a four. Four out of six. It's, I mean, and I'm hesitant. I should, I feel like I'm lowballing it there. That's, but the thing that's is, actually, that was my, I was gr- going to give it four too. Growing up, because I, I grew up with these, these movies, I really liked Gremlins 2 more. It's not, I'm not saying it's the better movie, <laughs> but I, I enjoyed it more growing up. So I have to give Gremlins 1 the four, the, the four out of the four to six. Yeah, I give it a four out of, a four out of six. And that's it, what I was thinking too. It's just slow to start, start a yeah, little bit. And, that's right. But once you get into gremlin action, it's sick. But, I mean, four is fair. Four for is gremlins. fair. I like it. I like it. All right. So, uh, I guess we should probably tell everyone, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hey, Hit the I've no- had four beers. <laughs> I've had four. Actually, I've had five. Yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> so, everyone, make sure, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the notifications button as well. There's something that you can turn on to uh, make sure you get all the notifications when we put up new videos. Yeah. Uh, help us out. Support us so uh, we're not just drink, you know, drinking Follow and talking. Follow the Instagram. Yeah. Fucking do it all. All right, you man. Know. See, you, see you guys. Later, <laughs> later dudes. Bye now.